is coming up though. Got it up. Hey, welcome to Diamonds and Bills. I am Shanice, and I hope you guys are doing well today. Happy Friday. So, if you are new, welcome, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, welcome, and thank you so much for returning. So on this video, I'm gonna actually show you guys this electronic wine opener that I received from a seller on Amazon. So this has been sitting for like two weeks, <laughs> two weeks now. And I am sorry, but like I have this wine. Well, it's not wine, it's like more of a Moscato. Um, this is like one of my favorite Moscatos that I actually chase with like orange juice and think of it as a mimosa, but it's not like, you know what I mean? But it's, it's really, really nice. So this one has that cork and it's complicated. So I wanna see how well that this opener that I received works for it. So we are, why am I popping my, so we are gonna get into that. This is how it looks. I'm actually in the bottom, I'm gonna put a description of the exact one as this. So you guys would purchase it if you guys like it and so forth. It is the air pump wine opener set. It's an air pump wine opener, a few pumps to safely pop the cork of a new bottle of wine vacuum stopper removes removes air from open bottle for a shorter time so they put like a stopper in there they have the tulip wine aerator i think that's how you pronounce it pour reduces splash for a smooth pour okay and they have a foil cutter removes the foil see this is perfect then so i'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the back so you guys can see that for you guys to see that exactly what it says what i was reading because sometimes i feel like when i'm reading i look crazy you know what i mean you know what i mean so i wonder how are you guys doing today i wish i like actually could talk to some of my subscribers like face to face and like how are you guys doing today i'm i'm living you know what i mean i am living i am so happy today is friday like i'm not gonna lie to you guys so when i opened it this is how it looks and I got this little, this little card in there about how my opinion matters. And you know, stop story time. You know, I gotta have a story time, right? So I have posted a video of me reviewing a hair, right? So it was Hendy Hair. I I posted. I reviewed a headband with. So this hair company reached out to me. I don't know anything about this hair company. I don't know anything. They reached out to me and basically said they will give me a free wig if I do a review. And I said, sure, you give me a free wig to do a review. Here's the catch. Shorty said, I will give you the free hair. You have to pay for it. Then when your review is live, then we will refund your money. Excuse me? Excuse me? No, no, no. It, it, I'm like, I, so I said no. You guys reach out to me. You want me to do a review on your hair. Why am I paying for it? And then I'm gonna get my reef when it's live. Excuse me? These people think they slick. I am, I wasn't born yesterday. No, I was not. I'm sorry, sweetie. I was not born yesterday. That blew my mind because I'm like, people out here like me trying to do our little thing on YouTube. And we got other sellers out here. Like, there's some good sellers. There's some bad sellers. You know, everybody's different. They always have that mixture. But for you to approach somebody and tell them that you want them to do a review on your product, at least give them a free sample. Like, this is a problem that I feel like myself and probably other upcoming mainly subscribers are having because we may not have that like, like that whole base as of yet because i'm gonna put it into the atmosphere we are gonna be popping but i feel like they take advantage of people like that like i don't understand why but they take advantage of that especially the ones on amazon because how do i look like what if you i get the hair right and i do a review and i don't like the hair and the review was the review was live. They're not gonna hear from my money because it's not gonna be a good review that they want. Like if you want honesty, because I even told Shorty, I said, yo, if you want me, I said I will send you the video of how I react to 
the product before I post it on Amazon if that's best for you. That's what I like. I said to her, like, I'm like, okay, I will be completely give you the option to review it to see how you like about it. And then if I have an issue with the hair, sometimes people like try to give you another batch of hair because sometimes it's different. Good batch, great batch of hair. You know what I'm saying? You always hear that saying. But for you to come for me like that, I was like, no, I'm good. And then she said, okay, thank you so much. Have a nice day. I'm like, so I wonder how much other people they're tricking like that. Like, Back to what I was saying. So they provide an actual manual of actually how to use the product. And they said to be very careful, you know, the usual, don't touch the needle, be safe, don't force, all that good stuff. So, so first things first, this is a tulip. So this is a tulip. All right, I'm gonna get a scissors because I'm not gonna break my nail and I'll be right back. Got my scissors. So we are going to open it all right okay so this is where you would put it on top to pour so it doesn't make any spills so this is what the tulip thing the jig jig was the tulip wine pour and all that good stuff okay and these are the stoppers so these are the little stoppers i don't want to open all of them i'll open one of them to show you guys i think that would be probably the best option to open one to show you guys how it looks so because i didn't want to just like open a whole lot Cause I have to go clean them before I use them in my wine. So this is how the stopper looks. Okay, it's not too bad. That's just one of them I would say. And actually one, two, three, four, five. So six came with it. So there's six stoppers, which is great. Next is the, what is this supposed to be? What is this supposed to be? What is this supposed to be? Is this a foil cutter? Can't be. It looks dull. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not, I don't want to break anything for opening it. Um, what is this? Oh, the foil cutter. Okay, it is actually the foil cutter. But I'm just saying, it, like, it looks... It looks... Alright, and then this is, I guess, to get the wine out. Okay, so you open it like that. It reminds me like when you pump in those things. Okay, and then this is okay. We don't know what this is, so you know we're gonna read the instructions. So we're gonna read together. So the vacuum. We don't need a vacuum sealer. Um, that that's that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty common. Depends on how to use that. Okay, so this is how it works. You take, so so this is how it works. You take, oh, okay. So the bottom part right here, you take that and you put it on top and then you just twist it. Well, that's what I was doing. And then it opens it. And here I am saying that it's not sharp enough the nerve of me i feel like ashy you know why because every time i'm washing my hands every 20 seconds okay remove the foil all that good stuff i did all that good stuff so you take because right here they actually show you exactly like each part is so one is the actual so this i think this one is the one that i'm going to be using is it so let me see What am I doing? Am I even? I feel like I'm pushing it down. So it might take. Oh, common sense. So this part right here is actually the stop for it. So I took it off right here. That's a little stop for it. So I guess once you take it off, you drill your needle into here. Okay, so hold the bottle firm on one end. Is that, is that all it is? So. It says generally five to 10 pumps per bottle is appropriate. 
is coming up though. I got it up. Perfect. Okay. That, that is better than the other actual opener, but wow. Wow. That scared me. But <laughs> so you put you put this on top. Because now I gotta clean it before I do that. Put this on top and then you pour it like that. And then I have the vacuum thing. And then this is what you use to seal it. I guess that's how you used to seal it. All right, so I'm actually going to wash these. Like, just rinse them off and stuff like that. And then I'm going to come back and show you guys how it pours. Because I want a glass right now. And how I seal it and then go from there. So, be right. Okay, so I rinse it off. Just, just do a little rinse on the tulip one. You know, I got my little tumbler. It says, looks like a beauty, but drinks like a beast. Because, you know, I love beauty and beast. So, is, a, is this even big enough to fit? hope this doesn't make a mess. So, let me see. Oh, okay. You guys can see how it is. How it pours. Okay. So we did that. Now I have the vacuum sealer. So it shows how to use a vacuum sealer, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. You pop this and then you take the pump, if I'm not mistaken. This is like a damn workout. Like I'm not, but this is how it looks. I'm just gonna pop it like that. I wanna show you guys the importance of one more thing. How you take this off, because I totally forgot about this. So, I guess this part, you're supposed to slide it down. I was wanting you guys to see how it, so you, this part right here, you take it, like once the cork is there, and then you slide it down so it will come off. And then you take your little rubber part, and then you pop it, I'm gonna stick myself pop it back on so i could honestly tell you that this wasn't what i was expecting but i actually like it i'm not gonna lie to you because the old one old-fashioned ones the manual ones the hand ones you know what i mean those are complicated i'm not gonna lie to you those are very complicated like i don't open them at all that's why i don't buy these bottles of wine if i can't screw it off i don't want it because it's so tedious and so complicated and so forth. Now, I'll just be like, now I'm good. I don't need it. But actually, so in all honesty, I would give this product an actually uh, 10 out of 10. Well, that's not, and that's not biased. It's, I actually would. Because this is my first time using something like this. And the instructions were pretty good to read. They actually show pictures. And I'm more of like a visual person. Like I have to actually see what you're doing. And then they provided all the products, no issues to it. So I would definitely give this a 10 out of 10, no cap. And I'm actually going to put this at the bottom, the link directly where I got the, the air pump wine opener set. So if you guys were to purchase it, you guys could purchase it. It wasn't a lot of money. I think like $13 on Amazon. So it wasn't like, like you breaking bread, like, you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, that's all I got to say. So, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you rate, share, like, subscribe. You tell a friend, tell a friend, all that good stuff. And stay blessed. Bye. Love you.